Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of October general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. Now, Virgo, Summer, Rise of Venus, and the visuals. When I was meditating over you all's energy, the song that I got was All For Us um, with Libra featuring Zendaya. Okay? Zendaya happens to be your fellow Virgo. And then Libra happens to be a Capricorn. So you, this could be dealing with Virgo or Capricorn, Summer, Rise, and Venus, and the visuals. Um, and the case, and, and definitely because Zendaya happens to be a Virgo, I definitely feel like this may be you. You may be trying to keep a family structure together. Cause again, the name of the song is all for us. You may be trying to keep a family structure together, um, regardless of rain or shine, regardless of what's going on. It could definitely be for the children or for the monetary stability. And I want to show you why, cause you may have built, built some type of monetary abundance with your person. Not this one. This. So at the bottom of the deck, you have a queen of pentacles. That's your monetary life. And see, you see how she's focused on it? And she's looking at that pentacle. But look at her. She's not smiling. She doesn't look happy. In fact, it looks like her face is kind of frowning. That's why this definitely resonates. You guys know I don't put the cards in any position. You have the three of swords, heartbreak, sorrow, sadness, and grief. I don't feel like this is going to be heavy reading. Even though we're starting off with this, I feel like that's the energy that you may be in. Like this person may have done something to hurt you. Or somehow affect your heart chakra or how you see love or how you love but it feel like for some reason you're like, okay, I've already built a life with this person because kings and queens, they're always in it for the long term. You may be one of those type of people who don't believe in divorce or you may feel like this person is worthy of moving forward into marriage or something to that nature. But it's just something about the connection that, that has you, you know, as far as your heart shock or your heart space of concern, it's like, it's a sense of dis-ease or unhappiness here. Back of the deck, you have, the four of swords, three and four. Now, notice of the four swords, there's three swords over the heart chakra. So I'm going to say again, what I'm getting with this, the all for us, I feel like so this person may have broke your heart. Like, it doesn't have to be third party like cheating. People always think that immediately. It could have been like this person broke your heart because they may have fucked up the finances or fucked up everything that you guys have established or somehow caused a hindrance or offsetting of it. And now you have to make everything um, stable again, because Pinnacle talks about stability, and that could be heartbreaking when it's like, you didn't even consider how this would affect us, you you didn't even consider how this would affect me, you didn't even consider anything, you just made decisions haphazardly, so that could be the heartbreak energy that I'm getting, and where I, where I say I don't feel like it's a horrible thing, because I feel like something can be worked on, something can be fixed, but you may just be in that space right now, like, this is, this is devastating, like, why would you do that without consulting me, or without you know, allow me to be a part of a decision. Because this source is executing things also. And you may have been very heartbroken or devastated over it. But then it's like you're taking a break. Like, you know what? I don't want to fight. Because he's a knight. He's a warrior. Like, there's someone who's accustomed to fighting their way through things. You may feel like, I don't want to fight. Let's make peace. Let me just pull back, retreat, and meditate on this situation. So that I can really think rationally. Because you see, again, she's looking at the pinnacle. Like, it's finances or something monetary really going to affect the outcome of this connection or relationship, okay? Back of the deck, you have the two of pentacles. Yes, somebody may have done something that fucked up the money or caused a rift between a connection between you and someone else because you got two ships here. That's relationships. Now, for some of y'all, you are dealing with somebody who's juggling. For some of y'all, not all. For others, it could just be like, it caused a rift in a relationship. I'm going to tell you, like this person could have went and borrowed money from a family or a friend or something and they didn't tell you. And it calls a, some type of discord and a connection that you have. And you just find out like, okay, damn, I didn't even know this was going on. Keep in mind, we have a full moon eclipse on the 28th. And I always tell you guys, three days before, during, and three days after full and new moons, the veil will be thin. Like finding out things, acknowledgement of things that you didn't have any clarity about. You may find out this person was out here taking out loans and has massive debt and they weren't telling you about it. But it's affecting you guys as a structure. So again, with the song offers, you're focusing on trying to get things back in order, trying to realign things, balance things. He's trying to balance things also so that the family structure isn't affected. Even if you don't have a child or children, you guys don't live together. It's like you're realizing like this person's actions could affect the potential future that you guys have as well. If you're completely single, you could have been dealing 
or you're healing from a relationship like this and this is why this is showing up for you. And again, going back into that full moon energy, I feel like this is coming up if this has already happened for you because you're eclipsing it out. You're healing from that, okay? So let's go through the deck until we get your major arcana. And you know, that song was featured on Euphoria when Zendaya, the show that she was on. You may be may have been at such a euphoric high with connection, like everything just was going smooth and then you felt like all of a sudden just everything comes crashing down. Like you may have found out or you're going to find out some truths about this person's actions because it's definitely something that this person did that you weren't aware of for some of you all. Okay, so we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the hermit. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarified for those cards. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody executed some type of plan and didn't tell you about it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. And then also, you did just have a Queen of Pentacles, now you have a Queen of Swords. So I'm going to say for some of you all, it could literally have been a third party. You got two queens. There's too many people in the mix, right? Could be a same-sex union. Doesn't have to be. But I'm just feeling like if it's not a same-sex union, yeah, somebody they ruffle some feathers here because you got feathers. Look, as much as that flying is going around, there's going to be some feathers on the ground somewhere, right? They don't ruffle some feathers. Also, I, again, I'm getting a very strong, prominent female figure, like a mother or sister. Like somebody could have borrowed some money and this person has reached out like, okay, when are you going to pay back the money? And you may not have any clue about it or this could be vice versa, flipping and putting where it applies. I'm just getting like, somebody's going to come out and say something. Swords is communication and mental. You see how at the tip of the sword is lit. It's like somebody's going to light somebody's ass up. Or tell... That somebody's going to come out with some type of truth that someone was unaware of. Again, I'm getting strong energy surrounding this full moon. This, you know, this full moon is an eclipse. So, some stuff that was hidden, it's, it's going to come to the forefront in a very powerful way. Okay? So, let's go ahead and shuffle a bit. Yep. See, I told you. It has to do with money for some of you guys. As soon as I parted, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Yep, and there's your card, Hermit. So I'm not even going to do no whole bunch of shuffling. Now, you guys know I always want the card that comes before and after. If there's no card in front, I get the very last card in the back. So there's your energy, Major Arcana, the Hermit. In the back, not a pinnacle, single woman, single man, and again, something with pinnacles. Now, you are pinnacles, so somebody may owe you money, and this may cause some type of ending in a, uh, or some type of drama in a relationship, or it's like somebody also may not know your value. You, some of you all may also find out somebody put you in a third party situation or you put someone in a third party situation. She has three roses here. Those are like offers, something that she could choose from. These two are at the same level, but you have this one that's standing now. So someone has a main person, but they also are keeping their options open also. Or they're behaving like they're single and they're not. Again, this could be your energy or this could be you finding out. Because see, she has this bird on her hand. That bird, birds are messengers. And you see how she's like, accepting that message like okay i hear you loud and clear some of you guys found out because see this is a gift she's gifted with that this bird it could be an air sign who comes and tells you something a gemini libra aquarius whatever the case is like or you could have found this out in libra season as i'm doing this reading right now it's the 22nd still libra season you could have found out in libra season at any time like this person was in a third party situation or put you in a third party situation again that won't apply to all Okay, I feel like for some of y'all, it definitely has to do with money. You just had the Ten of Pentacles. Now you got the Nine of Pentacles. So outside of this potentially being your energy because you are Pentacles, somebody did something with the money. You found out about it because of the little birdie. You know how somebody will ask you like, well, who told you? And they'll say, a little birdie told me. Somebody told you. Somebody's finding out something. And I feel like you're like, okay, I'm, I'm glad to know that. Now I can know how to move, you know, what to do moving forward. You see how her body is going this way, but she's looking at us. Like somebody feels like someone's oblivious to the truth, but they see it. They know exactly what's going on here. And this could be you. Or the person. Again, put it where it applies. King of Cups here. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person is in their feelings big time about is what I'm getting. Back of the deck, you have the Empress. Okay. So again, I'm going to say all for us with that song. I feel like you're the one who's going to have to rectify a situation. And for a lot of y'all, it definitely has to do with money. You got that rabbit here. That's luck, abundance, fertility. Someone may also be finding out about a pregnancy. Either a third party is pregnant because you do have the empress and she is a three. Okay. Either a third party is pregnant or if this is already the mother of someone's child. Like if you're a female watching and you, you date men and, and this guy has a child, the baby mother could be causing conflict. Like this person wants to always be somehow the center of attention. You see how she's in, there's two circles surrounding her. Wanting to be the center of attention. Um, 
using a child as a pawn for that also i'm getting that could be the case as well and you're like you know what i'm not listening to what this person is saying I'm going to make judgment calls based off of what I feel intuitively is what I'm getting. But see, here's the thing. There's a snake on the path. So this could be somebody just being shady, trying to be messy, okay? If there's a baby mother situation involved. So also could be born in the year of the snake as well. You are not. You have the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, getting everything that you want and more. But I always say with this card, there's something hidden behind the scenes. In both scenarios, again, pick the parts of the story that resonates with you. Every part won't fit for some. There's something going on behind the scenes. For a lot of y'all, you're going to be finding out in Scorpio season. Okay, for sure. For sure. Could be on a day that has a 9 in it, the 9th, the 19th, the 29th. Someone could be a life path or a personal year 9. Also, like I said, someone could be found out about pregnancy because the Empress definitely talks about that mothering energy, that um, fertile energy as well. That's why he has rabbit in the picture, fertility. And there's 9 months in a pregnancy. So someone could be finding out that someone... Is pregnant, someone is due, or someone gave birth in Virgo season. Someone gave birth to a Virgo, right? But more than anything, I'm definitely feeling like there could be a battle between two women in somebody's life. For some of y'all, it doesn't have to be a third party as far as an ex. It could be a mother figure also. Like the mother feels like they should always have say so on something. And you may have told your partner or your person, like, you know, I can't. It can only be one queen in this castle. You had two queens, remember, in the beginning. The queen of swords and the queen of pentacles. you will be telling this person, it can only be one queen in this castle. And if not, I'm going to go ahead and go my separate ways. I'd rather be single than have to be put in this situation here. It's part of the deck. Strength card. And it's, it's taking a lot of strength for somebody to deal with this situation. You got Leo here. Also, if you notice this, it's like he's suppressing this lion. Like somebody feels like they don't speak up on their behalf. Like say, for instance, you're dating somebody who's a mama's boy. Um, or... They have a baby mama who has so much control in what they do. You may feel like this person doesn't speak against it. Like they uh, they relinquish their control to other people. And you're like, nah, I'm not going for that. And, and I'm going to do it for us. I, I want us to work. So hear me out when I say this or I'm going to leave. Because again, a nine of pentacles is a single woman, single man for sure. So let's get a clarify for the nine of pentacles. Yes, yeah, somebody is not seeing the truth behind the situation. Look at that. The curtains, is some behind those curtains, somebody not seeing something, she's blindfolded. Um, these are swords, but I get antennas. Like antennas gives your like clear perception, like you're able to see something very clearly. In reverse, somebody's not seeing the situation for what it is. This could be your person. I feel like that's your person not seeing how this is gonna affect the connection overall. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, you got two nines here. Something definitely could have happened in September, or you could be specifically a September Virgo. Again, let's get a clarifier for the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is looking towards a bright future. Seeing something positive on the horizon. In reverse, a lot of y'all are like, I can't move forward with this situation. Again, for some of y'all, it could be a third party because you have the Empress. She is a three. Okay? And then you have Three of Wands in reverse. I'm going to say right now, if there's a fire sign involved, you may feel like there's no forward moving with this person. You may become single. Also, because we had a strength card earlier, Leo, you may have ended a situation in Leo season because you found out about a third party. Again, it doesn't always have to be like somebody cheating. It could be like them putting other people before you guys' connection. It's like, I'm not going to move forward with something like that when you're already allowing stuff to interfere with our forward movement on our path, okay? So let's get a clarifier for the Nine of Pentacles for Virgo. Someone rising Venus individuals. Clarify for the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Yeah, you're like, I don't want the conflict. I don't want the drama at all. Five of Wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. This not say if it's a fire sign, Leo says Aries, strong Leo. You like hell no, I'm not dealing with that. It's too much drama. There's too many people involved here with the Five of Wands. Everybody feels though they have some type of input, and you don't want no parts in it. Somebody can have a first, middle, last initial of V. Okay, Tower in reverse, but I feel like this person is trying to avoid an ending, or you can be again going back to the song. All for us, you're like, I don't want there to be drama. I want to move forward. I feel like you're my person. Because whenever you have the Empress, the Emperor is never too far behind. These are divine counterparts, okay? Libra, Taurus, also Aries energy here. You may feel like this is your person. You're like, I won't let something in because of drama. Because this is drama from somebody else. 
I won't let someone else's drama and chaos and calamity bring our castle down, bring down what we're trying to build is what I'm getting here. You have Aries and Scorpio energy. And again, tomorrow will be Scorpio season. So, you know, there could be talks about trying to rebuild, trying to find a way to heal or remedy the situation. And that's a major account, so that's definite. Let's get a clarify for the Empress. Clarify for the Empress, okay? You guys seen how I flipped out? Three of Swords, yeah. So, it, you keep getting all these threes. Somebody definitely got strong three in that chart. Somebody could be a person on life path number three. Again, somebody could be born in March the 3rd, the 13th, the 23rd, the 30th, or the 31st. Also, again, because you have both of these resonate with three now. You got the three of swords, and then she's a three. Three plus three is six. Six talks about the domestic life. It's also associated with the planet Venus, which is the planet of love, beauty, health, finance. As far as your love life, it seems like for some of you guys, I'm going to say there was a third party. It was too many people involved, and so now you're single. And for others, it could be like you are trying to fight an ending, some type of heartbreaking situation, or you're trying to work through a heartbreaking situation all for the connection with you and this person. I definitely keep getting something with children. Some of you guys could be trying to work through a situation because of a pregnancy or recent, um, like you recently gave birth or recently found out you were pregnant and you're trying to stick it out for the family structure. And then also I'm going to say again, if there's a third party, because you keep getting these three, there's a third party that was pregnant. I feel like you're, you're there's some type of devastation, but you may even try to still work it out. Again, for the sake of your connection with this person. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, still trying to avoid this tower. Back of the deck, you want to have victory with this person or this person is saying they want victory with you. Six of Wands, success, attainment, achievement, victory. Again, Leo energy. If there's a Leo or an Aries, Leo or Aries, I can tell you right now, this person is saying like, okay, I fucked up, but look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on it. Also, somebody could be proposing to someone because it does like this is not a ring, but it's kind of giving me the vibe of a ring. Somebody could be proposing to someone just to prove like, I know I fucked up, but I don't want this other person. I was, I did something in the moment of weakness. I want to be with you long term. And some of you all are having to try to listen to your heart and decide what it is you want to do. And this person is going to propose like, I'm doing this for us, all for us. Just like the title of the song, I want us to work out. I want things to work out for us. Somebody also got strong Capricorn. Because remember I was saying the artist that Zendaya sings with, his name is Libran, and he's a Capricorn. So you could be dealing with another earth sign and visual, and this person could have caused chaos, bringing other stuff. Because both of your clarifiers talks about, like, drama. Drama when it comes to matters of the heart. They fucked up, and now they are having to deal with it. Somebody could end, literally end up proposing to you. For some of you guys, this person is going to propose to you on New Year's Eve. I say, I'm like, I want to start, let, let's start this new year fresh. Let's start a new year, you know, different. Because, again, it's like the tower in reverse. They don't want an ending to happen. So this person may be proposing as a means to, like, okay, let's let's stay together. Let's work this out. I'm getting it also. Again, put this where it applies. Not all of those scenarios, because there's two very strong different variations in, in the story. But um, those are the main energies that I'm getting for you guys. Okay, so Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click the notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.